about his mercy you see he knows in my heart I want to do right but it seems like temptation is always around in front of me and calling me and I I admit sometimes I fall but when I get back up he keeps on forgiving me and what I love the most about him is that through it all he still loves me loves me loves me loves me loves me even with all my faults he keeps on loving me though I don't and I don't know why but I know I don't Oh, 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 thank God He never said Three strikes and you're out No, I failed him Now I'm sorry to admit That I failed my father So, so many, times. many times But still he's never, he's never, 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 never He's never, never left my side Never left my side And I I thank you, Father, for your mercy and your grace. For mercy oh, and keep he keeps on blessing. He keeps on to some. Good afternoon to others. I'm Brother Michael Arnold, assistant minister here at the Robbins Church of Christ. Going to deal with the text today from the book of Acts. The chapter is 2, beginning at verse number 37 for today. Again, Acts, the second chapter, beginning at verse number 37. And it reads, Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and unto the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children, 
and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day were added unto them about three thousand souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayer. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. For the next few minutes, I want to talk to you simply about baptism. And is it essential for salvation? Baptism. And is it essential for salvation? If you recall in Matthew 3, 13 through 17, Jesus comes to John the Baptist at the River Jordan, and he comes to be baptized. This same man Jesus was 100% man, but he was also 100% God. He knew no sin. His conversation wasn't corrupt. He was above reproach. So why did he who knew no sin need to be baptized for the remission of sins? Jesus underwent water baptism to identify himself as the Son of Man. Jesus could identify with mankind. Jesus could identify with our infirmity because he was a man. He knew what it was to have sorrow. He understood rejection. He battled loneliness. He was acquainted with pain and suffering. Jesus understood our nature, our inclination to sin. He understood our temptations and our battles with the flesh. Jesus was 100% man, but also 100% God. With Jesus undergoing baptism, he identified himself as the promised Messiah, the precious Lamb of God sent to save the world from the world from their sins. Secondly, Jesus became our example. Baptism is essential for salvation. If you recall in John chapter 3, Baptism is very important if you plan to be saved. There was a rich young man named Nicodemus, and he came to Jesus by night, and he had a very pertinent question that he needed a desperate answer to. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. When one obeys the gospel, he puts on Christ in baptism. The old man in his nature is buried in the watery grave of baptism. When one rises, they rise a new creature in Christ. They no longer have this old nature. They've been given this new nature. They've been given the gift of the Holy Spirit. Even though they're this new creature, they must constantly mortify the old nature and the old man if they're to be saved. If you would ask Peter if baptism is essential, you go over to Acts chapter 2. Peter, is baptism essential to be saved? Peter might tell you, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Peter preached the first gospel sermon on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem 33 AD. Peter preached so good that the crowd was so mystified that they said, man and brethren, what shall we do? Peter replied to them, you have to repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. Once you're baptized, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. He goes on to say that the promise is not only to you and I, but it's to everyone, both near and far, and all the Lord our God will call. If you would ask Paul if baptism was essential, he'd tell you that therefore we are buried with him by baptism into his death, that like as Christ was risen from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too shall rise and walk in the newness of life. 
Baptism is very essential if you want to be saved. It reconnects us with God and it connects the relationship that was rendered in the Garden of Eden. Nicodemus needed to be baptized. Jesus was baptized to give us an example, to confirm that he was the promised Messiah, the Son of God. We too must be baptized because it puts us back into the family of God and it gives us access to him. You don't have to answer a questionnaire. You don't have to sit on a mourner's bench. Anyone that hears the gospel, they believe in what they've heard the word. They've believed in what they've heard. They've repented. They're willing to make a change. If you're willing to confess Christ as your savior, you can be a candidate for baptism. Baptism is very essential. As I said, it puts you back into the family of God. It gives you access to God. It gives you the very best blessings you can get part of being, being part of God's family. As we close, perhaps you're not a member of God's family. We talked today about baptism and is it essential? A lot of questions have been raised in regards to baptism. If I'm sprinkled, is that good enough? When God sets something in order, that excludes everything else. If the commandment was to be baptized for the remission of your sins, then that excludes sprinkling, that is, excludes a dash on your head, that excludes the prayers of mercy. You have to be baptized for the remission of your sins because God sets it in order. And once he sets it in order, that excludes everything else. Once God says it, that settles the argument. There's nothing left to discuss. You come to God by hearing his word. It's up to you to believe in what you've heard. Be willing to make the change, repent of your past sins. Confess Christ as your Savior and be baptized for the remission of your sins. That puts you, again, into the family of God. That gives you access to him. Not only does that give you access to him, but being in God's family, God has now obligated himself to you. God takes care of everybody, but those that are within his family, he gives us something that everyone else doesn't have, but they can have if they come within his family. We thank you for your time. Thank you for tuning in on today. If you wish to make a donation to the local work here, the link will be posted below. If you wish to mail that donation in, the address of the church here will be listed below. We thank you in advance for all that you will do. May God bless you. May he keep you. Amen. I'm so grateful that I found the Lord in time. And since this relationship, it's really changed my life. But still, I can't help but think of so many others who haven't heard the wonderful story. And that's why I'm singing this song to tell it. Listen, it was a shame. The way they crucified my Lord But yet and still He laid down his life They stretched him wide Nailed the nails in his hands They hung him high He was the ultimate sacrifice Wait a minute But on the third day he rose with all power in his hand And for his true disciples There's something we must understand He said go and teach all nations Baptizing them In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost name And that's why I've got to tell it And you've got to tell it how will they know? How will they ever know? How will they ever know? Oh, 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 oh. Tell it. I gotta tell it. For God's sake, tell it. I gotta tell it. Oh, everywhere tell you go. Everywhere I go. I got something else I wanna tell you. Even on Even our jobs. 
There's something we've got to do Instead of talking about this and that We need to spread the good news About how Jesus suffered, bled and died On that cool cross that day So that the world might be saved Come on, y'all We need to tell them to hear God's word And believe it with all your heart Repent of every one of your sins And confess Christ as the Son of God Go down in the watery grave And be baptized You'll come up a brand new creature in Christ It's up to you and I to tell it Oh, we've got to tell it I've got to tell oh, it How will they ever will know they ever know ooh, 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 oh, Unless oh, we tell them I've got to tell it Please don't wait too late I've got to tell it Hey, you better tell, tell somebody <laughs> See, I that's go. what he told us to do And the cold thing about it It will be a sad day to hear somebody say My friend, you knew the truth But you still let me go astray So why, why won't we tell the world That Jesus is coming again And tell me who shall be able to stand oh, Unless we tell them Friends and our kin and our loved ones Everywhere, everywhere we go Now before I go, I want to put something on your mind You see, if you're one of the saved It's not by accident that you heard the word Yes, somebody, somebody took the time Out of their busy schedule to tell you about Jesus and there are so many others out there hurting Oh, so, so many others out there dying in their sin And the only thing that stands between them and salvation Is you and me And that's why we gotta be about our father's business right now So let's go down to the poor house and let's go down to the schoolhouse Even the White House Lord knows they show me Jesus Right about now Gotta do it